We're here because back in 1942, 700 Japanese immigrants were held. They were community leaders, separated uh, from their family. Among them, uh, there were 90 Buddhist priests arrested right after Pearl Harbor because they were thought to be a threat to national security. Cranes, cranes made by Japanese American community members around the country to support what all of you are doing here. Cranes folded very carefully by also Buddhist communities and temples around the country, 5,000 cranes. <laughs> This is the time of the year when our community celebrates our ancestors because we all understand the power of our ancestors because our ancestors were standing with us today at the gate at Fort Sill. They were with us. This is a chance for us to use the power of community to heal intergenerational trauma. Who can belong? Who's included? Who's excluded? These are struggles that are interlinked between what happened to Japanese Americans during World War II and what is happening today. And we remember these people because usually their names are forgotten. And so we recite them today in our prayer. Chief White Bear, Kiowa, Geronimo, Apache Chief, Woman's Heart, Kiowa Chief, I am a grandson of Mexican immigrants that crossed the borders long before visas and green cards. And like every immigrant, they came to this country seeking a better life for themselves and for their children and for their grandchildren. Today we honor those Japanese internees that died here at the hands of our government in 1942 and to the 10 children whose lives were cut short while in custody of the U.S. Border Patrol.